Hello everyone, my name is Blossom the Creativist, aka Blossom the Actress, okay? The the dancerist, the vlogist, and now the data scientist. It's come to my attention that a lot of you people think I do too much. And my only response to that is why is that your business? Yes, I know, I do a lot. I act, I dance, I talk about life. And now I'm talking about data science on this one tiny whiny channel. You know, I actually did make a poll asking people if I should include data science into my YouTube videos. And you know, surprisingly, a lot of people don't care. But because I'm a content creator who's running out of content ideas, here is my data science journey. If you are interested in data science or you see a really cute black girl on camera and you just want to support her, feel free to click that subscribe button and hit that like as well as the bell. I just noticed my light's not off. Let me turn it off. What exactly is data science? Well, data science is the gateway to financial freedom if you graduated from college and you still don't have a job. <laughs> Essentially, it's using data to predict the future. You know how we have coronavirus and we have this curve that news reporters and scientists are trying to deflate. And sometimes you'll even see the curve in like 10 days from now or 15 days from now to see if it increases or if it flattens. That is using data science. We're using data that we already have to kind of guesstimate how life will be like 10 days from now, 15 days from now, or oh, how many days, months, years from now. And another example is when you're on Netflix and you're done with the series and it says, you might also like this, that, that, that's also data science. Of course, not just data science, probably artificial intelligence as well, but that's also data science, a recommendation system. Data science includes programming, lots of math, and this thing called domain knowledge, which is basically how much you know about the industry you're in. So how much you know about the healthcare industry, if you're going through healthcare, how much do you know about uh, the tech industry, if you're in tech, blah, blah, blah. And I know what you're thinking, why data science? You know, Blossom, you have this whole public health degree, you have this whole business, you know, why, why are you dipping your toes in something totally different? Data science isn't really that different from what I do as a social media manager for doctors. In public health and in social media marketing, you're still using data to make a decision. Granted, it's probably not a really, really big, oh, is this medicine gonna work versus this medicine gonna work type of decision. But you know, I use data to curate and create my posts. If the data shows that my Instagram post with my face on it does much, much better than was without my face, then of course I'm gonna create more content with my face. Here's my handle, by the way. Now, I'm not trying to say that my public health degree isn't profitable, even though it isn't because America doesn't care about public health, corona. But coupling that public health background with the data science skill set does a lot of good things to my wallet, a lot of great things. And you can use data science pretty much everywhere. You can use it in social media to analyze who your followers are, where they're coming from, and why exactly they like your content. You can also use it in healthcare to see things like um, who's going to suffer the most from this uh, pandemic. And you know, there's a lot of studies already showing that black people are suffering. And another reason I'm choosing to study data science is because there's not a lot of black people in it. I mean, the tech field in itself, but actually, there's not a lot of black people and there's also not a lot of black women in the data science community. And I'm a firm believer of if you're not at the table, you on the menu. Oh, and I guess another reason would be to make my mom proud, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't even think this is gonna make her proud, but you know, whatever. Not that, not that, I, not, not that I need her to be proud of me, but like it, um, it, would, it would help sometimes, it would help. So how am I learning data science? A lot of people learn data science either with a master's in data science, so they go back to school, or they do a boot camp. I'm choosing to do neither because I have debt that I wanna pay off now. But I'm not totally against the idea of going back to school if somebody else will pay for it. But until then, I'm just going to do this route, this very lonely route of teaching myself 
data science. Uh, not a lot of people talk about doing it, but here I am and I'm a black person and, my, and I'm a woman. So you get all three in one, in one video, so yeah. And when I say by self-teaching data science, I'm saying I'm using resources like um, Udemy and GitHub, Stack Overflow, Reddit, all that fun stuff to help me along the journey. The first thing I had to do was pick a programming language. The two top ones that data scientists use are Python and R. And I chose Python because Reddit said it was the easiest. There's free code camp, there's YouTube videos, there's, oh, even Twitter is a, a great resource if you know how to use it correctly. But what I used to learn Python or like the basics of Python is Linda learning aka linkedin learning and it is free for me and probably for you if you have a library card my county's library has access to linda learning for its members for free so that's why i started there i took my python course and i'm not done with it i'm pretty sure i didn't finish it but I learned enough to know the basics of Python programming. And while I'm learning, I also wanted to network because learning by yourself is rough and you wanna make sure that you're not just like stuck somewhere and you don't have anywhere else to go. You don't have no one to talk to while you're stuck because that's very, very unmotivating. I networked and I went to this meetup and I met somebody who's also trying to be a data scientist and she came from the CDC. So we have a similar background. She wanted to do data science for healthcare, um, pretty much like me. So while I was networking, I was going through that Linda course and let me tell you, a lot of these programming slash data science courses are boring. At least the ones that I'm taking are so, 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 so boring. But you know, it does a job. So I believe this was back in November when I was teaching myself the introduction to Python via LinkedIn Learning. I learned the basics, but I stopped eventually because I was learning from other people that, you know, data science is programming, but you probably should learn the programming that's specific to data science. I was basically making calendars and countdown timers to Thanksgiving. So yeah, but I don't know what I don't know what I got to do with data science. It doesn't. Once I pretty much finished at least I think 90% of that course, I just stopped. And around that time, it was around Christmas or New Year's. I picked up a data science course that was on Udemy, and it was $11 because you know Udemy has a lot of sales. By the way, um, I read that these sales are actually not sales. These are actually the real price. And to get these $11, $12 cheap prices all year round, you have to go on incognito mode and then you'll see that the $11.99, $12.99 is the actual price. So I don't know if that's, that is sketchy, but I took advantage of it and yeah, I bought two. I bought two data science courses. The first meetup group I joined where I met my friend was called Women in Data. And around that time I joined another data science group called Analytics and a couple months later, you know, I actually met my mentor through that group. And my mentor is black and a female. So, lucky blessed blossom. So how I learned is um, I'm still on the first Udemy course that I bought and it's by Jose Portillo, I think. And so what I do is I just go through the modules or whatnot and I use OneNote to write my notes because you can just simply control F to find out you know what you want to use i use that and i just follow along with what he's doing and then once i met my mentor and once we started talking about you know how to be better be a better data scientist i started doing what he told me to do but applying it to actual projects of my own so i went out to go find data sets one place you can go to find data sets is Kaggle, so I use that. And based off of what lesson we're learning, I use what I learned and apply it to this this new data set that's real, that's a real data It's not a dummy data set, but it's actually a real data set. I meet with my mentor twice a week to talk about what I've learned with the Udemy courses and what I've just learned in general with data science. Yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past, uh, for the past nine months, yep, that's, Pretty much what I've been doing. And to be honest with you guys, yeah, this is not its not a career change. It's just me leveling up my skill set. But you know, it would be nice to go to, to, to be at a level where I am either freelancing as a data scientist or data analyst, or I'm at a level where I can be employable, you know, being employable as either one of those two. 
that'll be pretty cool. Like I taught myself these skills and people are paying me for the skills that I taught myself. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I made this video for two reasons, mainly because there's, you know, there's an underrepresentation of black women in tech, specifically in data science, because this is kind of a new field. And you know, it's kind of hard to become something when you've never seen somebody do it before. So to all the people out there that want to be data scientists as well, but are not, you know, the majority and that are female, hey, I'm me. <laughs> I'm doing this too, so you're not alone. And another reason I'm doing this is because a lot of videos out there talk about how I became a data scientist or how I became a computer scientist, blah, blah, blah. But none of them actually document, you know, the actual process of it, which I think is, can be just as informational, if not inspirational, more inspirational. And I think it'd be really cool to document my process while also making some YouTube coin. Oh, and I do a lot of my data science documentation also on Twitter, so you can follow me at Blossom Builds. I talk about what I'm learning, but I also retweet a lot of jobs <laughs> that I don't qualify for. So yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.